guys, I'm back with another video, and today I got these um, three flowers plates, and I showed you two before in a different video, which I can link down below in case you missed it, and these are the other three that I ordered. This is flowers plate 14, and this one is one that they did on their own. This is not a dupe. This does not have images from other plates that they took. These are their own design. This is 14. This one's 13. I love this one. It's all lace. I just think it's beautiful. And then this one is plate four. And this one is a dupe from the Queen Encore collection. Okay, so those are the plates. I'm going to peel the blue film off and let you guys get a better look as we swatch them. Okay. You know what? I forgot my black swatch papers. Okay, now we got some. Okay, for swatching purposes, I'm just going to be swatching on these um, bare paint samples like I usually do. And I'm going to attempt to use a few different polishes. I'm going to be using Gesso or Gesso from Funky Fingers, which is the white. Black, which is Dark Knight, also from Funky Fingers. I also have my white and my black Mundo de Unos on standby. And what is this? Metallic Sapphire from Clean Color. Okay, and I have two different scrapers, both from Fabry Nails. And I have um, a few different stampers as well. film off. And their blue film doesn't seem to leave any type of um, tacky residue or anything on there, so we should be good to go with that. Okay. To start off, I'm going to be using my Creative Shop Stamper. I also have my AliExpress my Milieu London in my Fabry Nails cap holder and my Fabry Nails stamper and I'm just going to be grabbing them randomly depending on you know how they're working or not so I love this plate I love the bird all the flowers it's very interesting I hope it's not too much of a glare I hope you guys can see it well But I think these plates are beautiful. The two that I have pick up amazingly. So um, fingers crossed that these ones will do the same thing. And I'll make sure I link the seller down below for you guys. Um, just a little tip. If you do go and check them out with this seller, they are, um, I can't remember, they're either $238 or $248 a piece. If you order more than two. So basically, once you get up to $7 or more, they charge you for shipping. Anything below the $7, they don't charge you for shipping, which doesn't make any sense to me. So if you're going to get more than two, I would suggest ordering them. Isn't that beautiful? Ordering two, placing the order, and then going back and ordering two more with a separate order. I guess I waited a little long because it didn't all come off my stamper. But yeah, so I found that out the hard way. When I was getting ready to check out, I realized that my total was more than it should have been, and I couldn't understand why. And turns out, that was why. I'm going to try to grab these flowers and swirly things up here. Beautiful. These plates pick up great. 
absolutely great, you guys. I'm going to switch to my marshmallow stamper from OU London. Let's grab this pretty bird right there. Isn't that just beautiful? Look how beautiful that is, you guys. Isn't that just so gorgeous? I love it. I love, love, love these plates. I love them. And they're a great price, too. Two dollars and some change for a plate this big is, like, amazing to me. I'm switching out to my white funky fingers. I'm going to try to get these flowers down here. That was one of the things that really drew me to this plate. I really thought that was interesting and beautiful. Picks up beautifully. Isn't that just gorgeous, you guys? I love, love, love these plates. I just, I can't say it enough. I, and I'm amazed at how well they work, being that they are so inexpensive. Let's try, I'm going to grab some of these flowers. They're very interesting. They've got like these little hairs, kind of. I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's like really fine little, I don't know how to explain it. You'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. Ooh. See those little hairs around the outside? Those little, like around the, um, after the petals stop, there's like these little fuzzy things. I don't know, it's really interesting to me. I've never seen that before. Alright, let's grab one more image from this plate and then I'll move on to another one. Let me grab um, this part right here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to grab two more images because there's one more thing I want to point out to you. Hold on, you guys. I messed that one up. I'm sorry. It's so sticky. I end up sticking it to the plate. I got Butterfingers, which doesn't help me. Isn't that beautiful? I love this. One more thing I wanted to point out to you is this right here. It's like a rosebud. Here, let me turn around this way so you guys are seeing it right side up. I hope you can see that. It's like a rosebud right there. It's really pretty. Once I pick it up, you'll probably be able to see it a little bit better. I'm going to do it in black just to help up with the contrast so you can see it well because it's it's really beautiful and that's another thing that I did not see until after I've received the plates and had them in my hand that's what I love about like these buffet style plates you can stare at the plate for so long and still miss things and notice them later and I love that isn't that beautiful see it's like a rosebud kind of it's got the swirl in the middle I think that's so nice looking Okay, so this was Flowers Plate 4. Now this one is Flowers Plate 13. And the only thing I want to warn you guys about, I did um, I did notice this on one of my other plates, but I didn't notice it right away. There's a little bit of discoloration here, right there and in the horse a little bit. And one of my other plates, it has a little tiny dot in one of the swirls. And none of the other ones have it with the exception of this one and then that one other one. And I don't know what it is. It does not come up in the image and it doesn't come off with the acetone or anything. So I'm not sure if it's just something that they used when they were processing the plates, like when they were etching them, or what. But whatever it is, it's stuck there, and it's not coming off. 
So I just want to give you guys that fair warning to where if you get a plate that has that, you don't panic. I mean, it doesn't come up in the image, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm grabbing my AliExpress stamper head and the clean colors. Um, first, I'm going to grab this just so you guys can see that it doesn't come up. And this clean colors polish is a lot thinner, but I mean, it seems to work well, so. Isn't that really cute? But this clean colors, um, it stains your stamper head. I don't know if you guys can see that discoloration there, that like purple. So I only will use it with my um, AliExpress or my marshmallow stamper from Million London. And the only reason why I'll use it with that is because I didn't know it stained it when I first got it. And I used my marshmallow stamper, so it's already stained. But I use that one with my um, Mexican pink anyway, so it was already stained. Cute little horsey. I love this lace plate. I really like lace um, for stamping. I think it's really nice. I think it always comes off really pretty. I just really like it. Well, I was going to switch out to my stiffer scraper, but I dropped it and I can't find it. So I'm going to stick with this one. Okay, let's do... Um, I'm going to switch out to my Fabri Nails stamper and to my Mundo de Unos only because this has such fine lines. I don't want to be missing a bunch of them because I'm using thinner polish. So, Okay, let's do... I'm going to start with the butterfly over here. It's got such intricate patterns in the butterfly. It's beautiful. The whole plate is covered in lace, but um, in the butterfly is much finer lace. It's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Check that out. See all those little tiny intricate lines? It's just so gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to try it. I'm going to grab this flower right here. Isn't that beautiful? Check that one out. I just love this plate. This It's just so gorgeous. The lace images are beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is one of those plates that you could do a whole manicure with this plate and every nail is going to look different. They're going to go together, you know, they're going to match, but every one is going to be a little different, and I love that. Okay, let's grab one more, and then I'll move on to the last plate. Let's do this right here. It's got a cute little heart. Oh, need some more polish. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? I love it. Okay, let me move on to the last plate now. This is Flowers Plate 14. And these all have the backing as well, just like the first two I showed you. Okay. Okay, let's start with these flowers right here. Honestly, when I saw these flowers, that's what made me get this plate. I just think it's really cute. I just really like the way they look, and I don't have any plates that have flowers like this, even though I've looked for them. I haven't been able to find any with this specific type of flowers, and I just love the way these look, specifically for summertime. They're like the Hawaiian, like for Hawaiian shirts and stuff. I love them. I think they're so cute. Okay, let's grab this cute little birdcage up here. Let 
Isn't that cute? Okay, and I love the image inside this paisley thing. And the images on this plate have a lot of really, really fine lines and a lot of stuff really good for lead lighting. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Love that. Okay, let's grab some of these paisleys just so you can check them out. Okay, let's do some in white. Let's just switch it up a little bit. Clean some of this off too. Okay, I'm using my Mundo de Unos. Let's grab um, this flower right here. I like that it's like kind of wonky and like abstract kind of Isn't that nice A little bald spot there I think that was me though okay I also want to grab some of these look like um like octopus tentacles almost to me. Let's grab them and see how they look. Don't they look like octopus tentacles, you guys? That's what they remind me of. Okay, let's grab this cute little bird. I think it's supposed to be... um. I want to say peacock. There we go. A couple bald spots. I think a stiffer scraper would probably work better, but I dropped mine. It's around here somewhere. Try it one more time for you. Nope. Give them worse. Okay. Let's move on. Let's see, a couple images from down here. That's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. Let's do one more. Let's grab some more of the paisleys. Also, I really like on this plate how the images are a little more spread out, so it'll be easier to isolate just one thing. Aren't they just gorgeous, you guys? Okay, hold on one second, and then I will show you all the swatches we did today. Okay, so these are all the swatches we took today. And these are all from Flowers Plate 4, Flowers Plate 13, and Flowers Plate 5. And remember to check down below for the link at AliExpress so you guys can go check them out. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you guys go check out these plates for yourself. Don't forget to like, comment down below, subscribe, and come back and see me next time. Bye!